In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at nomenclature. Nomenclature. And this video, really, I want to, I'm making this to, like, to sort of introduce the whole idea of organic chemistry. I'm going to be making a, a quite a long series of videos on organic, organic chemistry. And one of the fundamental concepts when it comes to organic chemistry is nomenclature. It's really, really, really important. And what, what nomenclature is, is it's basically a system which we use to name things. Uh, the word, the actual word nomenclature means it's, it's, it's a reference to the idea of a naming system. A naming system. Now, in, the, in this world that we live in, there are many, many, many scientists. And these scientists, a lot of them speak different languages. And a chemist in one language may call a compound one thing, and a chemist in a different who speaks a different language may call a chemistry. Uh, I mean, make where did I just say chemistry? May call a compound something else. And when these two chemists try and come together, collaborate, and communicate their ideas about maybe different compounds, different reactions, and all of these different things, a conf a, a lot of confusion may arise because of the fact that they name these two identical compounds different with different names and this can cause uh basically it can it can slow down the, obviously maybe they'll resolve it eventually but this can really slow down the progress of organic chemistry and chemistry in general so there's actually an international organization and their name is uh the, their name is usually abbreviated to iu park i i don't know why i say park but iu park I, I could say IU Park. Anyway, so their name is abbreviated to IU Park. And this basically stands for the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. And what they do is their mission is really to advance chemistry. Now, one of the ways we can advance chemistry, if you think back to this example I just used of these two chemists who speak different languages trying to communicate scientific ideas and uh, work together and make maybe create, I don't know, do something they might be in their progress might be stored quite a lot because of their barriers in communication so what this international organization IUPAC has done is they made a naming system a chemical naming system and sometimes it's referred to as the IUPAC nomenclature because there's other there's other different nomenclature systems there's different ones and well this is one of the, 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 the most, this is one of the easiest ones to use. So we use this at AS chemistry, A2 chemistry, and so on. Now, this IUPAC nomenclature basically names compounds in a systematic way. And because it's an international naming system, if we take back, to, if we take, if we go back to these two chemists, which I was talking about, if they were both using the same systematic naming system to name a particular compound, there wouldn't be any really confusion of what this particular molecule is. They would be they would be on the same terms. They would understand each other, and that would make the advancement of chemistry easier. And so this is one of the major reasons why we use this nomenclature because there's there's some names that people just give to specific compounds, and 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 when you do that, you're really forming kind of barriers because. There are millions and millions and millions of, of different combinations of organic uh, organic compounds, and so if you if you spe specify to a specific like name which isn't systematic, you're gonna have to be like maybe a machine to remember all of these. So we use systematic names so that you can just use your intelligence to to to, to deduce it. So anyway, yeah, I won't go into how we use the naming system, uh, what the what what the rules are to the, for the naming system. There are rules to naming systems this naming system, but I won't go into the rules in this video. I just wanted to look at this basic idea of nomenclature in this video. So yeah, uh, uh, I'll be making some more videos about organic chemistry. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video.